Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Back with some bells. Took some Asian inspiration and decided to make this cute mandarin top with bell sleeves. It's the summer here, so I made mine cropped, but it's perfectly customizable so you can wear it your way. You're the boss of your bell after all. Speaking of bell, we've got plenty on the channel, so if you're feeling the vibe, click and get subscribed. There's plenty on the channel already, and we've got more coming. Also, if you're feeling this piece or any other piece on the channel, remember to click that like button. It helps me out a ton, and it helps me keep more coming. Now it's time for me to get the show on the road, so without further ado. For this project, any Category 3 yarn will work, but I used a total of 320 grams of yarn. That's 550 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4.5 and, and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you collect anything. Unfortunately, we don't collect anything at the moment, but when I was a kid, I used to collect unicorn memorabilia. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. and half double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we'll explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first gonna grab our category three yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're gonna grab our four and a half millimeter hook and we're all gonna start by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. I want mine to be cropped, so I'm going to start by making a chain that's 5 inches for 12 centimeters, and that's going to be a chain of 22. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off that last chain and do a chain of 2. This doesn't count as a stitch, this is just our turning chain. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. So insert your hook into that chain. Yarn over, pull through, should have three loops on our hook. So from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is our first half double crochet. Let's do the next. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can increase together. We've just put one half double crochet into every chain. We left the last one, and now we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into there together. So yarn over and insert your hook into that last chain with one half double crochet, and then into that same last chain with our second half double crochet. That's how we do our increase. And from here, we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So start with just a chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch. That's our turning chain. And flip our work. Now we're going to do back loop slip stitches. So start by inserting your hook into that first stitch's back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. This is going to give us a really nice rib, so let's do the next one. Into that next back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, we're now going to do our half double crochet row, but now that it's all going to be within the back loops. So start with a chain two, flip our work, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Into that first stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us, insert, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Let's do just one more together. Yarn over, insert into that next back loop, pull through, pull through all three. Continue to do this, making our way all the way down, leaving that last stitch just so we can do an increase of two with you guys one more time. All right, we have just half double crocheted into every back loop, making our way back up. 
and we have one stitch left. So let's do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. Start with yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop. Yarn over, pull through, pull through three, and we're gonna do one more into that same back loop. And now that we have that, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And from here, we're going to keep repeating those two rows until this reaches the corner of our underarm. And then I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. And just as a quick tip, make sure that we're stretching it as if we're wearing it when we're putting it up to ourselves. I've just finished up the first half of my underarm portion. I have a total of six rows, and this is just about an inch and a half or four centimeters unstretched. We should have all ended along the bottom. And from here, we're just gonna make this curve up a little bit more smoothly so that we can work up to our shoulder. So from here, we're gonna do a chain two, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And I'll meet you back at that last stitch so that we can now do an increase of three. We've just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And into that last stitch, we're going to do an increase of three now. So yarn over, insert into that last back loop, with one into that same back loop with two and then into that same back loop with three so we should all now have a total of three back loop half double crochets into that last stitch now i do need to increase into our slip stitch row as well so how we do that is we're going to do a chain one that's going to count as a stitch and then chain a second one, so a total of two chains, and that second chain is gonna count as our turning chain, not as a stitch. From here, we're gonna flip our work, and then into that second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert into that back loop with a slip stitch. So skipping this first chain, inserting your hook into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through everything. That's our first back loop slip stitch, and then from here, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through. We're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the bottom of this row, do a chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so that we can do an increase of three with you guys one more time. I've just made my way all the way up with my back loop half double crochets, and into that last one, we're going to do another increase of three together. So yarn over. Insert your hook with one, insert into that same back loop with two, and then into that same back loop with three half double crochets. Now, I actually don't need to do another row, but I'm just going to start the slip stitch row with you guys just as a refresher. So just do a chain two and flip your work. From here, we're going to insert our hook into that second chain from our hook's back loop with a slip stitch. So insert. Yarn over, pull through everything on your hook, and then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And from here, we're going to keep repeating these two rows until this reaches the front of our body, making sure that we meet back right after a half double crochet row. And I'm actually done right here, so I'm going to take out these stitches. And I now have a total of nine rows, and this is roughly two inches or five centimeters unstretched. Once when we have this, we're now going to make a chain that reaches all the way up to our shoulder. So I have already measured mine out, and I'm gonna start by making a chain of 20, and that's five inches or 12 centimeters. All right, now that we have our chain, we're now going to do the next row in our sequence, which is a back loop slip stitch row. Working into the chain, we're just going to do slip stitches. So go ahead and block off that last chain. Do a chain of one, that counts as our turning chain, not as a stitch. And then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. And continue to put one slip stitch into every chain and I will meet you guys back right before we're ready to start working into the body. All right, we've just put one back loop slip stitch into every chain. And now we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch working into the body. So if we need to, we may need to turn our work a little bit. But go ahead and insert your hook into that first back loop 
and then do a slip stitch like we've been doing. Continue to put one slip stitch into every stitch. We've made our way all the way down with our back loop slip stitches, and now from here we're working on our shoulder. So all we're gonna do is do a chain two right after the slip stitch row. Flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then do a row of back loop slip stitches. We aren't gonna be doing any increases or decreases until we get the shoulder width that we like. And then I'll meet you guys back along the bottom. All right, so my shoulder piece is all done. I have a total of 16 rows, and I now have a total of about three and a half inches or eight centimeters unstretched. And now we're gonna start working on the neck hole. So what we're going to want to do is place this up on ourselves and then insert our stitch marker where we want our neck hole to start. We are gonna have a collar, so you want this fairly close to your neck. So I just inserted mine into the fifth stitch from the top. That's just about one inch or two centimeters. And then all we're gonna do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. All right, we put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we've reached our stitch marker. And all we're gonna do from here is just alternate between a back loop half double crochet and back loop slip stitch row until this reaches across our chest to the other side of the base of our neck, making sure that we meet back right after a half double crochet row. So let's just get the next row started. Do a chain one. Flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back once we have this portion all finished up. All right, so I've made my way all the way across my chest, and now I have a total of 39 rows, and this is just about 8 inches or 20 centimeters unstretched. From here, we all should have ended along the top, and now we're going to make a chain the same amount of stitches that we skipped on this side. So if you guys are lucky, I skipped five stitches. So over here, I'm going to make a chain of five. All right, so now that I have my chains, I'm going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And from here, we're going to put one slip stitch into every chain and then one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then from there, do rows of back loop half double crochets and back loop slip stitches for the same amount of rows as our shoulder portion right over here. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, my shoulder portion is all finished up and now we are ready to get started on the underarm. So the first thing we're gonna do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made on this side. So if you guys went in with my numbers, I made a chain of 20. So along the top, I counted down 20 and inserted my stitch marker. From here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until there are three stitches right before our stitch marker, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, we've just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have one, two, three stitches right before our stitch marker. So let's do our decrease of three back loop half double crochets. Start with a yarn over, insert into that third to last back loop, pull through, also into that second to last back loop, pull through. And then into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should all have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook now. So all we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all five of those loops to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. Now from here, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and we're going to need to decrease into our slip stitch row because we increased into our slip stitch row on this side. So to do our decrease, we're gonna insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over pull through also into that next back loop and then once we have our three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops on our hook and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch when we reach the end of our row do a chain two flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch leaving the last three so we can do a decrease one more time with you guys all right so we just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and we're just gonna do our decrease of three one more time together. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, second to last back loop, pull through, and then that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all five of those loops now. And then from here, we're gonna keep repeating those two rows for the same amount of rows where we increased into every row for the other side. I actually only have three rows, so since I have one, two, three rows of my decrease, I am all done. Now we're gonna close this off by doing the rest of our underarm. 
So once we reach your portion, we're going to do a chain one, flip our work, and then we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch with no increases and no decreases because we didn't do anything on the other side. Once we reach the end, do a chain two, flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two to do a decrease of two together. All right, we'll put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch right after our slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. And let's do our decrease of two. So yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then also into that last back loop, yarn over, and pull through. Should have four loops on our hook now, so yarn over, pull through all four. And then from here, repeat. So chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then do a back loop half double crochet row with a decrease of two into the last two stitches. Keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our underarm portion right here. Do a chain over one cut, we'll meet you guys back. All right, so I've just finished my underarm portion. I have done a chain up of one and cut and the entirety of my front panel is all finished. Now to get started on our back panel, what we're going to do is actually do the same chain for our underarm, same amount of rows, and then get started on the shoulder portion as well. And then once we have this all finished up, I will meet you guys back. All right, so I am back. My underarm and my shoulder portion for my back panel is all finished. And from here, we're actually just gonna make our way all the way across until this reaches the other side making sure that we're just repeating our back loop half double crochet and back loop slip stitch rows with no increases and no decreases, making sure that we meet back along the bottom. I'll meet you guys back just to remind you guys how we're going to do our underarm portion on the side. All right, so I've made my way all the way across with my back panel, and now we're going to do our underarm portion, which is going to be the same exact way that we did the first side. So go ahead and get all that done, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it all together. All right, so now that our back panel is all finished, we are ready to seam up our sides. So the first thing we're going to do is place our two panels on top of each other, making sure that the ribbing is faced out because we're gonna be doing an outside loop slip stitch seam. And we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're gonna insert our hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel. So into that loop that's nearest to you, insert your hook, and then into the loop that's furthest away from you into the back panel, insert your hook, and through that back loop. Now we should have three loops in our hook, so all we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do one more. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook only into that front loop, and then into the next stitch, only into that back loop, Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up a one and cut. All right, and now that we have seamed our side, we're now ready to seam our shoulders together. So what we're going to do is flip our work wrong side out so that our ribbing is now facing each other. Now we're going to do a single crochet seam. So start by inserting your hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through everything that's on your hook, and then do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're gonna be doing a single crochet seam. So we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every side row. My first side row that I have is this side half double crochet. I'm gonna start by inserting my hook into the front panel, and then also into that same side half double crochet into the back panel, and then I'm going to single crochet. Let's do this again into the next side row into the front panel, which is a side slip stitch. Into the next side row, which is another slip stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet. Keep doing this until we don't have any more side rows left to work into into the front panel. Do a chain up one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, and now that everything is all seamed up, we can now get started on our collar. And right before we get started, don't mind that I already have one sleeve done. I just want to make sure I had the right numbers for you guys when we work into that. But what the first thing we're going to do for the collar is take a look at the back. I'm going to insert our hook into any one of these side rows into our next scoop. It doesn't matter which one. And all we're going to do from here is put one single crochet into every side slip stitch and two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So start by inserting your yarn onto your hook. 
follow through and do a chain up of one to secure. Now my first side row is a side half double crochet, so let's put two single crochets into there. Insert into that side half double crochet with one, and then also with two single crochets. My next side row is a side slip stitch, so insert into there as well with just one. Let's do just one more set. My next side half double crochet, we're going to insert with two. So there's one, and there's two, and then into my next side slip stitch, single crochet into there with just one. And we're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way around to the front, and then all the way back. Slip stitch into that chain one space, do a chain up one cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. Alright, so now that we have just single crocheted all the way around our neck hole, now we're going to start working on the height of our collar. The first thing we're going to have to do is into the front panel, we're going to have to find our middle stitches. I have two since I have an even amount of stitches. If you guys have just one, that's completely fine, just put one stitch marker into there. And then from there, we're going to have to find the halfway point into the back because we're going to have to cut it in the back. So if you guys have my numbers, I had a total of 80 stitches. Once when I found my two front panel stitches, I counted out 40 on one side and then 40 on the other. And now we can get started on the height. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into that stitch marker stitch. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then we're all going to start by making a chain the height that we want our collar to be. Now I want mine to start off at about 3 inches or 8 centimeters, keeping in mind that this will grow the further along it goes on your neck. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 13. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain, do a chain of 1, that's our turning chain, it doesn't count as a stitch, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into the next one, yarn over, pull through everything, and then into the next. Yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we now need to connect it into the base. So into the next stitch, we're going to slip stitch it to connect. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Now our first row is connected. Now in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next stitch. Flip our work, and now we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So start by inserting your hook into that first stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Now the next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and continue to do that until we make our way to the end of this row, and then I'll meet you guys back to show you how we're going to increase. And now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, our increase is going to be done the same way that we increase the underarm. So do a chain two and flip our work. From here, we're going to start by slip stitching into the second chain from our hook. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and then from here, continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. Now we're going to continue on with these two rows until we end up getting the height that we want our collar to be. And then we can just work back with back loop slip stitch rows until we reach our middle stitch marker. So once when I get my height, I will meet you guys back, and then we can move on from there. Alright, so I'm back with the first half of my collar, and I now have the height that I want. I finished right after 17 rows, and all we're going to do from here is just continue with our rows of back loop slip stitches with no increases and no decreases until we reach our stitch marker, and then do a chain of a one and cut. When we have that done, Repeat everything that we did here on the other side, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it together. So I am back, and I have just finished up both halves of my collar, and now all we're going to do is just seam up the back. So let's flip our work over. And making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, we're going to be doing an outside loop slip stitch seam. So insert your hook into both corner stitches, yarn over and pull through. Now from here, this is going to be the same outside loop slip stitch seam as our side seam, so let's just get the first one done together. 
Into that first stitch, into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook into that front loop. And then into that first stitch, into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through. That's it. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so now that our collar is all finished up, we are now going to get started on our sleeve. So first of all, making sure that our work is slipped right side up and right side out. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the last stitch from our side seam. And then from here, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. And all we're gonna do is single crochet all the way around, making sure that we're working clockwise or to the left. So what we're gonna do is pull our yarn through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then we're gonna start by putting one single crochet into every side row that we have. So let's get that started. Inserting your hook into that first side row, which is this half double crochet, I'm going to insert my hook. And then single crochet just like that. Let's do that again. My next side row is this side slip stitch row. So insert your hook into that top loop. There's not going to be a real loop for us to go into, so we're going to have to find one. So go ahead and single crochet again. Let's do this one more time. My next side row is this side half double crochet. So just find that top loop, insert your hook, And then single crochet once, and then once more into our side slip stitch row, insert, and single crochet. From here, we're going to continue with that, making our way all the way up and around, and then doing the same thing once we meet back over here. Just as a really quick tip, keep track of the amount of stitches that you do for just the underarm portion, or you can just count how many underarm rows that you have. But we are going to need to know that number for future rows. So go ahead and get that done, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we've made our way all the way around with our first single crochet row, now we're going to do our single crochet to half double crochet rows so that this can gently curve over our shoulder while doing a decrease so that it's nice and snug as well. For this next row, we are not going to do a decrease. We're just going to get used to our stitch combination. So right after we slip stitch into that chain space, we're going to chain one. And for this row, we're gonna make sure that we're still working clockwise. And we're going to put one single crochet into the same amount of stitches as underarm rows as we have. So if you guys went in with my numbers, I have a total of nine underarm rows. So I will have a total of nine single crochets. So insert your hook into that first stitch with one. Continue to put one single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of rows as underarms that we have. And now that I have my single crochets working up and over my shoulder portions, we're going to do half double crochets. So all we're gonna do is yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch with a half double crochet and continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of stitches as underarm rows that we have along this side. Finishing it off with that same amount of single crochets, slip stitch into that chain one space and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, now that our second sleeve row is all finished up, now we're going to continue on with the same ribbing as the body and we're going to do a back loop slip stitch row. So right after row number two, we're going to do a chain one. We are now gonna flip our work, so now we're working counterclockwise and just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Slip stitch into that chain one space and I'll meet you guys back so we can start doing our decreases. All right, we are back and we should now have one two, three rows, and to get started on our fourth row, we're going to chain one, flip our work, making sure that we're working clockwise now, and we're all gonna start by putting one single crochet into the same amount of stitches as underarm rows that we have. So if you guys have my numbers, I had a total of nine, so I'm gonna do nine back loop single crochets. So to start that off, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop, and single crochet. Let's do this again into that next back loop, single crochet, and then next back loop, single crochet. Continue to do this until we have the same amount as underarm rows. So now that I have put one back loop single crochet into the same amount of rows that we have for our underarm, we're now gonna do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. 
So start by inserting your hook into that next back loop, pull through, also into that next back loop, pull through, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. That's how we do our decrease. And then here, now that we're going up and over our shoulder, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through three, yarn over into that next back loop, pull through three. And we're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way up and around until we have the same amount of stitches as underarm rows left, plus an additional two stitches so that we can do our decrease as well. So I will meet you guys back when I have 11 stitches left. All right, so I have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and I have left the same amount of underarm rows that I have, plus an additional two. So from here, we're going to start with our decrease of two back loop single crochets into that next back loop, pull through, and then into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. That's our decrease. And then continue to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So insert with a single crochet. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. Slip stitch into that chain one space and reach back. All right, so we have just slip stitched into that chain one space and now from here we're just going to keep repeating our two previous rows so our next row is a back loop slip stitch row so do a chain one flip your work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch we are not going to be doing any increases or decreases into those rows and then for our half double crochet row just put one back loop single crochet for the same amount rows as our underarm decrease of two and repeat that on the other side i'll meet you guys back once when this gets over our shoulder and gets nice and snug on our arm, and I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. All right, so I am back with the first bit of my sleeve all finished up. I have a total of 13 rows and it's nice and snug around my arm. So from here, all I'm going to do is repeat the same rows, but without the decreases. So just to get the first one started, we ended right after a slip stitch row. So all we're going to do is put one, back loop single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of rows as underarm rows that we have down here. So I have a total of nine. I'm going to be doing nine back loop single crochets. And now that we have our single crochets, we are not going to be doing our decrease like I said. So just go straight into doing our half double crochets. And we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of stitches as underarm rows. So for me, that's nine and then close off with our back loop single crochets. And then from there, a slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. And we're just going to keep repeating those two rows until this becomes completely horizontal on our arm when we wear it, leading back right after a slip stitch row. I'll meet you guys back once we have that all finished up. All right, so I am back and I have just made my way all the way down so that it's nice and horizontal when I wear it. Now that we have this, we're just going to lengthen our sleeve until we reach about where our elbow is. So now we're just going to alternate between a half double crochet and slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So since we all ended on a slip stitch row, we're going to do a chain two now since everything's even. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, make our way all the way around, and then do a slip stitch row. Continue to do this until this reaches about where our elbow is or wherever you want it to start to decrease on you. And then I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so I can show you guys how to decrease. All right, so I am back and I have just made my way all the way down to right about where my elbow is with my sleeve. I now have a total of 55 rows. And all we're going to do from here is just decrease into every third half double crochet row until this becomes as snug as we want it. Or until we're ready to start working on our bell. So what we're going to do from here, we should have all ended right after a slip stitch row, is do a chain two, flip our work, and all we're going to do is start and end with a decrease of two. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, also into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over and pull through all four loops. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two so that we can decrease together just one more time. So I've just made my way all the way around with my back loop half double crochets. 
of the last two stitches and now we're going to do a decrease. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. Then once we have that, go ahead and slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then from here, you guys can decrease into any rows that you guys like. But just to show you guys where I have decreased, I've decreased into every third half double crochet. So as you guys can see with my other sleeve that I have partially finished, my red stitch markers are my decrease rows. So I decreased one, one half double crochet row with no decreases, a second half double crochet row with no decreases, and then into that third, another decrease row. And then we're gonna keep doing that until this reaches about mid forearm, meeting back right after a slip stitch row. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the bell. All right, so we are back and I have just made my way all the way down till I reach my forearm and I have a total of 67 rows. And now what we're going to do is our bell sleeve. So we're actually gonna take out our four and a half millimeter hook and we're now going to insert our six millimeter hook. Since the row that we should have ended on was a slip stitch row, we're now going to start with a chain of three. So there's one, two, three. That doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. Flip our work, which mine is already flipped, and we're going to start and end with an increase of three back loop double crochets. So start with the yarn over, and we're all gonna insert our hook into that first back loop. Now, just as a quick tip for this first row, it may be a little difficult to get your six millimeter hook into there because we were using a four and a half. So if you guys need to grab your four and a half, just to kind of pull your next stitch up a little bit, yank that up, and then you can yarn over and insert it into that loop. But this is just gonna work for the first stitch if you guys need it. Let's go ahead and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, there's my first double crochet. We do need to do an increase of three, so we're gonna do two more into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's two, and then once more. Insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And now from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so that we can do an increase of three into there. But from here, all we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you guys back when we have just one stitch left. All right, so we have made our way all the way around with our back loop half double crochets. We have one stitch left, so let's do our increase of three double crochets again together. So yarn over into that last stitch. We're going to go in with one double crochet into that same back loop, that last stitch, two double crochets, and then three. And all we're going to do is count up to the third chain that we made when we first started off this row. Count up one, two, three, slip stitch into that chain, yarn over, and pull through everything. And from here, all we're going to do is chain one, flip our work, and then put one slip stitch into every stitch with no increases and no decreases. And then we're just going to repeat this row. So just do an increase of three back loop double crochets into the first, and last stitch, and then everything else is going to be a back loop half double crochet until we get the total length that we want our sleeve to be, and then do a chain up a one and cut. I'll meet you guys back when I have all of that done. All right, so I'm back and I have just finished up the entirety of my sleeve. I have a total of 96 rows. I did do a chain up a one and cut. And then once we have this, go ahead and make one more sleeve exactly the same way. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can work on the bottom. All right, so now that both of our sleeves are all finished up, we can get started on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is switch back out to our four and a half millimeter hook, and we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into any one of our side rows. I'm just gonna insert mine right where my side seam is. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. Now from here, we're gonna single crochet along the bottom, but when it comes to doing our half double crochets, we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then always put one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's just do the first few together. Inserting your hook into that first side half double crochet, we're all gonna put just one single crochet. So find that top loop, and then insert, 
with just one single crochet. Now into our slip stitch row, we're always going to put one single crochet, so find that top loop. And then single crochet once. Now this is my second half double crochet, so we're now going to put two single crochets into there. So into that side half double, there is one, and then there is two. So this is our first set. We did one single, one single into the side slip, and two single into the side half double crochet. We're going to do one more set together just as a refresher. This is my first side slip stitch row. So every side slip stitch row, there's just going to be one single crochet. And then into my next side half double, I'm going to put one single crochet. My next side slip stitch, one single crochet goes into there. And then my next side half double, two single crochets are going to go into there. So there is one, and there is two. Continue this pattern, making our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then reach you guys back. So now that we have single crocheted all along the bottom, we're now going to work on the length that we want our bottom to be. So I'm going to start by making a chain of about 13, and that's roughly 3 inches or 18 centimeters. But if you guys want to make this long, just continue to make the chain as long as you want the top to be. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with our slip stitch. So insert your hook into that second chain from our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do one more. Into that next chain, yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. Alright, so now that we've just put one slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch this into the base to close off this row. So into that next stitch into the base, we're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and now our first row is closed off. And to get started on our next row, we are going to slip stitch into that next stitch, into the base, flip our work, and then we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of the row, do a chain one. Flip your work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And from there, we're just going to keep repeating those two rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into into the base. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it all together. Now that we have made our way all the way around at the bottom, we don't have any more stitches left. So now what we're going to do is do an outside loop slip stitch seam. That's going to be the same seam that we did for the side. So let's get the first one started. Making sure that our work is slipped right side out and right side up, we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches, front loop into the front panel, and then into the back panel, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop. Now from here, we should have three loops on our hook. So all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And from there, continue to do this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. And now that our bottom is all seamed up, we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, guys. We are all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. All those links are down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.